everyone! In this Mission to Mars video, we're going to be talking about the next step in developing a mission to Mars, and that's launching your mission. Joining us today to help us understand how and why we do this is Sarah Elizabeth McCandless, a navigation engineer for the Mars Perseverance rover. Thanks for joining us today, and welcome! Thanks! I'm excited to be here and talk about Mars exploration. Well, let's get started with my first question, and that is, what does a navigation engineer do? Sure. A navigation engineer is sort of like an interplanetary space pilot. When we're flying to Mars, we're only flying robots. We, we aren't sending people yet. And so we have people here on the ground who have to fly the spacecraft to Mars safely. So it's our job to track the spacecraft and know exactly where it is at all times and then predict where it's going to go so that we can ensure it arrives at the correct landing spot at the correct time. Can you tell us what a launch period is or what a launch window is? Sure. A launch period is the number of days you have to get your spacecraft off the ground and on its way to Mars. And a launch window is the amount of time on a particular day in that launch period. Most missions that go to Mars have a launch period of a couple of weeks. And so within that couple week period, you have a specific amount of time on any given day, and that's your launch window. There are a lot of different things and a lot of different factors that influence whether or not you can launch on a particular day. And so we want to try and squeeze out as many opportunities as we can. So what happens if we miss our launch period? Well, if you miss your launch period, you have to wait for the next opportunity to launch to Mars. And because of how Earth and Mars orbit the Sun and our solar system, they're only aligned once every 26 months for us to send a spacecraft to Mars. So if you miss your launch period, you have to wait an awful long time to try again. Once we launch from Earth, how long does it take to get to Mars? Well, it depends, actually. Earth and Mars orbit the Sun at different speeds and different distances. And so it can take anywhere from six to nine months for a spacecraft to get from Earth all the way to Mars. The Perseverance mission, for example, is going to take seven months to reach the red planet. What happens during the trip from Earth to Mars? This is one of my favorite questions because a lot of people think that when you're flying through the emptiness of outer space on your way to Mars that nothing's going on and it's boring and you're just sitting there at your desk twiddling your thumbs. And that is not true at all. All of the engineers are super busy the entire time that we're flying to Mars. We're continually talking to the spacecraft and getting information back about how healthy it is and how the systems are operating and if the scientific instruments are healthy and doing well. As navigation engineers, it's absolutely critical that we get to the landing location. You know, we're not just flying to Mars, we're flying to a very specific location on the surface of Mars that scientists have spent years analyzing and wanting to learn more about. And so during our trip to Mars, we have five different opportunities to ensure that the spacecraft uh, doesn't drift too far from where it's supposed to go. And those five opportunities to, to fix that spacecraft trajectory are called trajectory correction maneuvers. And so we have these five opportunities to turn on our engines and correct the motion of the spacecraft and nudge it back to that exact landing location that we want to hit. And then we also have to practice for landing a number of different times. So we run a lot of tests on the ground as an entire team to make sure that we're ready for when we get to Mars. Thanks so much for joining us, Sarah Elizabeth. We really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us about launching your mission, the next step in developing a mission to Mars. You're very welcome. I'm excited to have the chance to speak with you all. Good luck launching your rockets and flying to Mars and have fun. Now that you've heard why this step is important, you're ready to launch your mission. Stay tuned for the next step in developing a mission, and that's landing on Mars.